Hey everybody, it's Tim from PreceptPro.com and in today's episode we're going to take a look at how easy it is to create an HDR image like the one you see on screen in Adobe Lightroom 6 Creative Cloud. All right, here we are in Lightroom and you can see I got this nice photo of a waterfalls and I had this massive ridge behind me that was casting this huge shadow, but it was so interesting with the clouds, the sun setting behind the clouds that I would make for this really cool photo. So I'm going to show you how I mixed them together. I took three shots of that. The second one here is overexposed by two stops and that gives us all the detail in the shadows here. And the next one is underexposed and this gives us a lot of detail in the clouds and Lightroom does a pretty decent job of mixing these three shots together so let's go ahead and do that so the first shot you want to click on that hit shift and click the last shot to select all three then you want to go up to photo and photo merge HDR there it is so then it's going to take a few moments here and it's creating an HDR preview for you and the best thing you want to do is hit auto align and auto tone and why not select medium because it's the middle of the road. Okay, now we have our preview here and you can see we've got sort of this balanced image. So I'm gonna go ahead and click merge on this. All right, Lightroom is done with our HDR image and here it is and it's done a pretty good job of balancing out the three exposures to come up with this exposure which is a DNG file which has tons of information in that. So over here it's come up with some auto base settings. I like to reset that and just do it myself. So with the exposure, I'm going to only bump it up a little bit. Uh, contrast, give it a little bit of contrast, drop the highlights down, and boost the shadows up, not too much. And with the whites, you can actually hit Option on your keyboard and start sliding. And when you see those pixels start to light up, that's when you're losing information. So I'm going to go right till I don't see any of those. So it only went up three. And you can do the same thing, hitting Option and start sliding with the the black slider so now you can see I'm gonna keep it about here so this is where we lose information but I'm not too concerned about that and clarity I'm gonna boost the clarity up and a bit more vibrance and I'm gonna go back with the exposure I do like it a little moodier which is cool so you get all this detail here the nice thing is you can also throw some filters on here to bring out some more information here let me just do a little quick demo of that now you gotta make sure that we invert mask on this one. And let's try to get this waterfall to stand out a little bit more. I'm gonna rotate this. And this is very quick that I'm doing these contrasts as up highlights. Done. Okay, now let's drop down a filter on this and same deal contrast. Well, let's keep it there. Drop the exposure a little bit more. Done. So that's just a really quick job of creating an HDR image. This is typically what I do and I come up with a base setting or if the image is great in Lightroom, I'm done. And I do a few more editing things. I usually spend a couple hours on a photo. Um, sometimes I bring into Photoshop and I create multiple layers. Okay, we are done. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe. Check us out, presetpro.com on our blog. We're going to have a ton of information coming up for 2016's tips, tutorials, Photoshop, Lightroom, and a whole bunch of photos. We actually just got back from Mexico, did a whole photo shoot there, uh, planning a trip in a couple weeks to northern Canada to get some snowy shots there. And then we're off to Europe, traveling all through Europe, and probably finishing the year off in a tour across North America, Canada, and down through the U.S. So make sure you subscribe, check us out. we got a ton of information coming. Thanks for watching.